Tonight, support continues to grow from across the country for the Tennessee teen who lost both of her legs when a car crashed into her this past weekend. Five on your side's Mercedes McKay joins us in studio with an update on the 17 year old's condition and how communities everywhere are pitching in. Mercedes. Mike and Kelly, we learned Janae Edmondson had to undergo surgery today to get her wounds checked. She's in a considerable amount of pain and is still in critical condition. Her family is continuing to ask for prayers, but also space so they can focus on their child who still has a long road to recovery. The uh, surrealness of where we are is, is setting in. Still more questions and answers at this point. It's a gamut of emotions right now for everyone in the town of Smyrna, Tennessee, specifically inside the mid -ten Volleyball Club gym, where 17-year-old Janae Edmondson once dominated. Our kids were kids. They smiled, they played, they laughed, they cried, they hugged the coaches that need to be hugged. Edmondson lost both of her legs and remains in critical condition in the St. Louis hospital after a car hit and pinned her on Saturday night. The man accused of causing the crash, Daniel Riley, was arrested and charged with multiple felonies. The volleyball club's assistant director, Jeff Wismer, says they're moving into a phase of not memorializing, but celebrating. We have Janae and we're excited for her to come home and let's celebrate life, let's celebrate her personality, let's celebrate all the gifts that she has. Wismer says the support the family and club has received is overwhelming. Whether it's financial, whether it is a 12-year-old's note, whether it is a double amputee calling and saying, hey. Volleyball clubs across the country donating, praying, and even wearing blue all week to practice in support of Edmondson. Local clubs going to the hospital and, and giving money, giving uh, gift cards, those, those sorts of things. That's uh, been humbling. Terry Hall is the president of the Leslie and Ryan Prather Foundation. The foundation based out of Kentucky supports families facing tragedies like Edmondson's. This hits home and in our foundation. Hall's sister-in-law Leslie and niece Ryan were killed in a car crash in Lake St. Louis on February 14, 2020. They were on their way to the same President's Day volleyball tournament Edmondson was in town for. Just hearing that tournament's name kind of puts a, a pit in your stomach. So that side of me was just having flashbacks of, of our situation. That's why Hall wants Edmondson's family to know they have support. It's just important for, for them to know that this community has their back. The GoFundMe link for Edmondson has raised over $300,000 already. The Leslie and Ryan Prather Foundation also has a fundraising link. You can get a link to donate by texting the word support to 314-425-5355.